Uh, I have been in the garden here for about uh, eight to ten years, I think, along with my wife and now two kids. And uh, the garden means a lot to us. We have a small apartment here in San Francisco, and it's a it's kind of like our backyard or part of our backyard. Uh, we have two placentas buried in there uh, from the two home births we've had for our two kids. And our kids really have had a chance to be nature kids here. They climb the tree here and they and they they know about vegetables and fruits because they have grown uh, uh, different things like potatoes, beets. They love picking the raspberries. Um, so it's a really special place for us. Look at my daughter there, she's gardening with a shovel. She loves the garden. I mean, for my, for my wife's birthday, she gave her a tree uh, yesterday. You know, it was a, a Japanese maple, and uh, my son still draws flowers and butterflies at age seven. Like, he's, he gave her butterflies. You know, that's where we, and we ordered caterpillars over the internet, and they're going to grow into butterflies. So I think it is going to be something that carries on. Uh, as these guys become more attuned to how food is made and, and things grow, I think it's definitely going to last in them. What I notice is that how much people care about this place and, and uh, it's a big part of their lives and uh, it's a great, it, that's kind of the part that can be a hassle in some ways, but it also is really it's a place where we've made friends and we have feel like we're tied to this place. It's part of our roots now, this community of people that have been here for years and years, and the oldest old and young and middle-aged, and, and uh, I think that is a, really made our social life richer. Hey, do you have anything to say about the garden? What do you think about the gardens, Guy? Can you say what your best thing in the garden is? Yeah, t tell, give me a little tour of the garden. Yeah. Where's the placenta? Great. Uh, one placenta, Julius's placenta, is there in the middle, and it was underneath a, um, a lemon tree that got stolen. Uh, but we can we sort of imagine that the whole placenta feng shui and spiritual power got diffused through the whole garden. And Skylar's went underneath a <coughs> um, ja uh, fuchsia bush that is also not here any longer, but it was it was around for a while. And uh, is placenta good for the soil? I, apparently, it's yeah. It's like I believe it's good for the soil, and uh, you know, just further kind of connected us to this place. So you're in the garden. <laughs> yes, she's in the garden. <laughs> Your very beginning is in the garden. Yeah, uh, they when they were born in the, in their in our home, you know, like you can almost see it from here. And, a lot of their time as little kids, as babies, was spent with their mom, mostly weeding and digging and putting stuff in. Like we had ton of, tons of avocados. We grew a giant pumpkin in here that we had for Halloween one time. Thank you. Um, this is my this is my little masculine tree, which is not actually true. To me. It's just like it doesn't really done anything for three years. They're like I want to have a pine tree. <laughs> and much more impressive is the robot. What do you mean? It's not a pretend tree. That's a real tree. It's just not a big tree. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye, say bye. Bye. <laughs>